Welcome to this service at Faith and Victory Church. This is the place to come to receive your miracle from God. Now, let's join our service already in progress. All right. Going up in your Bibles to Hebrews 11 6. Last week we were talking about uh, the faith that pleases God. Hebrews 11 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now remember last week we talked about the word uh, please in the Greek is a derivative of the word that means to agree. So literally, it, without faith, it's impossible to agree with God. Okay? In other words, God, God operates in the realm of faith. He does not operate in the realm of fear. doesn't operate in the realm of of defeat. He doesn't operate in the realm of worry, fret, depression. He operates in the realm of faith. And without faith, we cannot agree with God. In other words, if you're going to come into agreement with God, if you're going to please God, you have to walk by faith and not by sight. All right? So, the four times in the scriptures, in, in, in different forms, it basically says this, the just shall live by faith, or by his faith, okay? So, we have to understand that if we're going to walk in harmony with God, we're going to have to live the lifestyle of faith. You can't walk in harmony with God in worry, in dread, in defeat, in sin, in rebellion. All those things come contrary to God. It is the lifestyle of faith that pleases God. Amen? And so we talked about Joshua 1.8, how that faith is birthed in us by meditating in the Word. Joshua 1.8 says, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you'll meditate or mutter therein day and night that you may observe to do. You cannot observe to do what you don't know to observe to do. That's real simple. We get a lot of Christians who want to come into the church and not read the Bibles, not study the Word. Preachers don't do it. Listen, I am not your, your, your do-all for you. It's not my job to get it all done for you. As a matter of fact, in the book of Acts, they were preaching in a, in a region um, called Berea, in a city called Berea. And the Bible says this, and they, they, they says, these, those in Berea were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word of God with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily to see whether those things be true or not. In other words, the Bereans were more noble than the Thessalonians. See, the Thessalonians were going, whoa, this is great. Receive, receive, receive. But they weren't studying. They weren't going to the word for themselves. They were expecting Paul and, his, and Timothy and his team to get it all done for them, which is good. It points you in the right direction. But you've got to take that and go to the Bible yourself. You've got to meditate in the word for yourself. You've got to study the word for yourself. Why? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word, you know, remember, the word there is, Rhema, Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, the Ramatos of God, the revealed word of God. You've got to study it to get it. Amen? You've got to get in there yourself. Pastor Ed showing up with a great sermon is good. It's inspirational. It gives you right points, points you in the right direction, helps bring uh, maybe correction in areas where you're off, or helps give you good things. But you got to go study yourself. Yes. Brother Hagin used to say this. Hallelujah. He said, um, don't go out there and say, Brother Hagin said such and such. He said, you go study it for yourself and you go out there and say, the Bible says such and such. You know, he may be your favorite Bible teacher, but you still can't use him as your crutch. You've got to use the Bible. Grunt a couple times or give me a holy oh me or uh, help me Jesus or something. Or get up and walk out with your finger wagging, you know, you can't take it anymore. <laughs> Amen. No, we have to study the word ourselves. Man, this is weird. I'm just looking at you know, all these people over there. <laughs> like ADD. Do what? 
Yeah, and I got, and I've got, you know, I keep seeing me out here. All right. So if faith comes by hearing the word, and that's the message. Actually, I think the Greek says the message heard. If faith is birthed in us by the rhema of God, the revealed word of God, we, we, we know that the Holy Ghost is working with us. You know, Jesus said that the Spirit, he'll come and bring to you all remembrance all things that I've taught you. Now, remember, Jesus is the word. So it's not just the things he said when he's walking on the earth. He is the word. He is the Logos. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. Same was in the beginning with God. John 1, 1. Then verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory as the only begotten of the Father. And the Word dwelt there is tabernacled. Ten actually, one translation says tented. Okay? Same word in reference to the tabernacle of the Old Covenant. See, Jesus came and tabernacled among us. He brought the glory of God to the earth. Well, see, He is the Word. So the Holy Ghost is going to reveal everything God says. Remember I said this last week, that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Then it says this, when Peter was talking about the transfiguration in the mount, he said, you know, we were with him in the mount, in that excellent glory. Then he went on and said this, but we have a more sure word of prophecy. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. So what? The written word takes precedence over anything you hear. Amen. 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 What's that mean? If it doesn't line up with the written word, it ain't God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. If you get something, you get some heavy revy, you come, Pastor, I was in bed last night, and I heard the voice of God, and there was a glowing figure appeared unto me, and it told me such and such. And I go, but that's not in the Bible. I can't help it. I heard. It doesn't matter what you heard. Peter said he was with Jesus in the mount when he saw the excellent glory and he was transfigured and his raiment became more became glistening and brighter than the noonday sun and Elijah and Moses appeared with him and he woke up and saw all that and he said, we were there. But we have a more sure word of prophecy. All scripture is given. We trust that you were blessed by the Word of God and the flow of the Spirit of God in this service. If you would like to contact us, please write us via email at office at fbc.org or using our mailing address, P.O. Box 7752, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27417. If you would like to contribute to our ministry, please go to our website at www.fbc.org and click on the Giving Online button. Thank you, and may God richly bless you for your giving.